Welcome back to a new video guys. Today I'm going to show you how to build a really really easy base and you can use cobble in early game. This is perfect for a solo player. I have seen this particular base style and design on my server so many times and I've never actually really done a video on it. So I kind of wanted to show you how to actually do it. It's very simple, very easy. So again, guys, if you want to know exactly how to build this step by step, right at the end of the video, I will have a fast forwarded bit where I go and build this thing block by block. You can slow down the footage at the end so you can kind of keep up with the footage. But it's all there and you can see how to build this. So I'm going to first explain a few things why I did certain things in this space. So you kind of get a, a general idea. So we have three ways up for the zombies. Remember, the more ways up for zombies is better. Because remember, during a horde line, something can go wrong with one of the ways. And then you're basically stuffed if it's only one way. Don't make one way bases because things can go really bad. Saying that, if they break this center pole, uh, yeah, you're pretty much done. This base is going to die pretty quickly. So if that happens, jump and run. But the chances of them actually hitting this small block are quite low. It's much higher for them to hit this block. So once they get up to this intersection here, they're going to walk across this very, very, very stringy little line. Very difficult for them to do that. When they get to this point here, you'll fight them. The nicest thing is you'll have to only deal with one or two zombies at a time not overwhelming you, so that's the whole idea of having this single pillar down the middle. So you can have multiple pillars, you can have like three lines. If you can handle that, sure, but I only recommend having at least two, because if you have too many, you're going to be overwhelmed at this point and you can't repair and fix things and defend from the zombies at the same time. Another thing I've done, just to add some extra variety to the base, and if you've got some buddies, they can come and join and help you with this base as well. So, you've got the right and left side, so you can stand right over here and you can shoot the zombies that come. You can throw molotovs, grenades, and whatever you want to do on both sides. You've also got this thing here. This is to stop zombies from stacking, because you don't want zombies to get to this point and jump on each other's heads. If they try and jump here, they get pushed back and obviously they will fall down to the bottom there. So that's why I did that. But other than that, that's the base, guys. You've got a little ladder on the back. The zombies can't jump this distance. So you just jump up into the base and you're pretty much good to go for Horde Knight. So when the zombies fall down, it's very important that you are 12 to 11 blocks down or 11 to 12 blocks down, right? It's very important because that is the number where the zombies will not go into their rage mode. If you're at like five or so blocks, if you never had this pit here, then what will actually happen is if the zombies fall here, they will start hitting on this, and that's not what you want. It can work for early games still, like you don't actually have to put this this whole pit here for early game. You can just do that, that's fine. It just won't be as convenient with the pit. So as you can see, this pit should be at least 12. I always go 12. It's actually 11 to be exact. But just to be sure, I always put 12 just to make sure you don't want those zombies raging out. So there you go, That's that is actually... Pretty much 11 actually so yeah it's perfect nice but yeah just go 12 just to make sure so yeah when the zombies now fall down into the pit they will not hit this because it's you know 11 blocks down then they will make their way to these ladders climb their way up uh, i have noticed they like to hit on here but that's not a huge deal it doesn't hit your main base and then they will just repeat this entire scenario again and again and again and again and again and they'll just keep coming and coming and coming and you can just keep defending them a lot of mistakes I see with people's bases is that what they will do is they will basically, let me show you, they will make a base like this for instance and don't put a trench around their main base. This is a very bad idea. So if you had a base like that for instance, it would be really bad because if a zombie comes from the west side, he will go and he will try and hit on here because he detects, hey, you're standing up here. This is an area that they can hit on. Eventually, he will realize there's an easier path by going that way. But the better way to do it is to have a trench around it, stopping the zombies entirely from actually hitting the side. The closest thing that they really do is that they will stand like here and they'll hit on the bottom here or do like a funny little zigzag and then realize, hey, there's a path. It's better than that's better than them hitting on your base. All right, let's play a little scenario here. We got some zombies on all sides except for the front, and you're gonna see exactly how the zombies path because of what I've done to the base. Again, you can watch the build video after this here. So let's just start the zombies, give ourselves a gunshot, and you can see what the zombies do here. They do not go for the main base; they go straight for the access for them to go. 
You can see some of them do, like I said, they're hitting the bottom there. They might hit on the side, but usually the bottom there, that's fine. That's not a huge deal. Really does not matter. Then you get a couple of zombies here that you can handle, like one or two, usually one. They usually fall down on their own. When they get to the bottom, they don't go into rage mode. They don't hit on your main base, they climb up the ladder. And well, things are going really well for you. You don't actually really have to do much yet. To be honest, you just let them do this the entire horde, not if you like. But again, watch out. Make sure that you repair the poles that I've used here during the horde night, just to make sure things uh, don't go sideways and they get inside the base. Oh, I forgot to mention, this entire base is made out of cobblestone. So, I highly recommend, like, when you start advancing in the game, start upgrading this, and you can actually use this for endgame horde nights as long as you upgrade the blocks, because once you get those big zombies and start hitting on cobblestone blocks, things will go really bad really quickly. The base itself is quite dynamic. You can do quite a bit with this. Like, electric fences across the pole would do you wonders. Like, you have no idea. No zombies will be able to get across that, that, that small little tiny pole with, uh electric fences so that's something you can think about in the future so yeah there's my base guys go and try and build it test it out on a horde night base another thing i'm going to do for you guys if you join my discord you can actually download this entire base for yourself if you don't want to go ahead and build it in the build video that you're going to see at the very end uh so this is much easier if you want to just go and uh, m grab the copy on discord i have another video teaching you how to actually import these bases into your new worlds I'll leave that link in the description as well if you want to uh, check that one out. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate that. Remember to go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. It always helps out a ton guys and I appreciate your support on the channel. And what do we call this base? I'm gonna call this the, uh, mm, dang it, um, mm, starting base v1, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just call it that, right? There you go, go download it on my Discord, or yeah, you can watch the build video that's gonna start right now.